This is the Shandong Tan Sports School in Beijing and is widely regarded as the cradle of many Chinese Olympic and world champions. Some of its graduates include legendary table tennis player Zhuang Zhedong, famous for his role in the so-called ping-pong diplomacy between China and the U.S. in the 1970s. Established in 1956, the school focuses on six sports, table tennis, gymnastics, track and field, women's football, tennis, and weightlifting. The school caters to 300 students each year, splitting their time between training and normal education. So far, three of its trainees have won gold medals at this year's Olympics. The school has seen many changes in China's sports culture over the years. Gone are the days when China's medal tally was mostly confined to gymnastics and weightlifting. More medals now are being won in non-traditional sports such as track and field, judo and fencing. Vice manager Man Qinghua, a former tennis Olympian, explains why now is a great time to be an athlete in China. Every, I think every player will be very proud to be uh, an athlete in, in China because uh, um, they can uh, have a good training in, in, in school. Also, they can uh, enjoy their, their uh, training. Um, also, they can, they can go to tournaments. They can have a competition. Uh, of course, every player they have a, a dream to be a national player. Like China's rapidly growing economy, the country's influence in world sports is set to grow at superpower proportions. Its giant lead in the gold medal tally this year may be a precursor to soon becoming the world's number one sporting nation. For the South China Morning Post, this is Edwin Lee.